You ever had a really awkward moment in a bar or any public setting? I had one this weekend. I went out to a drag show with my friend. He was performing in the show, a review of Hairspray. It was going to be a really fun night, but I ended up running into a girl who has recently moved that I used to have a really big crush on. She came back into town to visit for a while, and apparently I'm not as over her as I thought I was. Then on the other end of the bar were people that I used to be really good friends with, but now I can't stand them. So that was really fun to see them again and smile I, my favorite shit-eating grin. But then the cherry on the shit cake was probably when my ex-girlfriend who dumped me over the phone showed up. She took one look at me and then turned on her heel and ran out of the bar. Ah, the memories. Hey everybody, this is Megan, your host for Thursdays here on Equally Awesome. First, I'd like to thank everybody for the birthday video, all the texts and calls. They were really touching and I really appreciate it. I've had a really chill birthday. I'm not going to be doing much tonight because I have to work in the morning and people's schedules just aren't really working out for us to do anything really big. So this weekend we'll be spending more time together celebrating not just that but each other and having a really good time. To jump right into the questions, Gamo, you asked about a favorite childhood memory. I used to go sledding a lot when I was a kid. I was living in Spokane at the time and they used to get tons and tons of snow, like feet and feet and feet of it. So we would all go sledding at the park, which is only a couple blocks from our house. And it was really fun to spend the winter days that we weren't in school enjoying ourselves out in the park. And I love snow anyway, so it was super fun for me. We also used to make a lot of snow people. And I remember one year, like every house on our block had some sort of snow sculpture of some kind out on their lawn so the local paper went out and took photographs of everything and wrote an article up about it and I still have that article at my mother's house because it was so cool to see our house in the paper at the time. Mark you asked about the origin of our name. My name is spelled M-E-I-G-H-A-N. It is an Irish Welsh spelling derived from the word Margaret. It means pearl like the actual thing found in the oyster or whatever. And it also means a leader and one who is very wise. I think it's pretty cool. My parents also told me that it was the name of an Irish princess who ruled for almost a hundred years when she became queen. I don't really believe it, but whatever. Bob, you asked if there was something in our town that we wanted to explore that we haven't had the opportunity to, and there is. In Queen Anne, which is a more kind of shishi frou frou area of the city. There is a dueling piano bar called Chopsticks that I've always wanted to visit and I've never taken the time to do so. I used to pass by it on the bus all the time when I worked out in that area, so I'd love to go and see that sometime. I heard it was pretty chill. Oh, Winter, you asked if we do or do not like zoos. I think they can serve a good purpose in a research center for scientists who'd like to study animals. Also, they can provide a sanctuary for animals who are going extinct, but on the whole, more often than not, zoos very much mistreat animals. The animals are not in climates that are, you know, really what they're supposed to be living in. Places that they're kept aren't actually very clean all of the time. Also, negligence by zoo staff and people visiting can cause them to get very sick, very stressed out. I remember hearing a story about a guy who threw a piece of rotting fish into a lion cage, thinking that he was doing this really good deed by feeding this lion and not wasting the meat. But who or what would eat rotting meat, which was completely lost on this dude, so nice job, buddy. My question for the week is about the economic crisis. Every Sunday, I like to go down to Pike Place Market and buy fruits and vegetables so that I could have things to cook with for the entire rest of the week, and I remember going down to the market, picking up my stuff and coming home, and I noticed that this coffee shop that has been open since I was a kid was closed. It, the windows were all uh, sh covered up and no one was working there anymore. Also, the price of everything has gone up. Gas in Seattle is ridiculous, so a lot of people aren't driving anymore. The metro bus usage is up 70%. And this morning, Starbucks announced that they had a 90% loss in profit and were having to close another thousand or so stores in the entire state. And it's really been hitting us hard here. So I'm wondering, because we have the sort of luxury of all living in different places of the country, how is the economic crunch affecting you in your particular state and in your particular city? Um, maybe speak specifically as to the domestic products of your state, which for Washington would be apples, coffee, and salmon, all of which are ridiculously down, particularly coffee, ironically enough. So what's going on in your neck of the woods? Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate the videos and everybody's friendship, and we'll see you next week.